Okay, we're going to tackle a rel relatively simple problem. We're going to use both the formula and the factor in this problem uh, to check our answer. Okay, so this problem uh, has Brian, who's received four hundred thousand dollars for winning a rodeo clown contest. Pretty impressive. Uh, he wishes to put these winnings into an account and then make a series of yearly withdrawals that, that exhaust the account over the next 20 years. And Brian's wondering how much can he withdraw if his account earns 5% APR. So how much is he going to be able to withdraw every year? So let's write what we're given in this problem. We know that Brian receives uh, some present sum right now of four hundred thousand dollars. Right, uh, he has an N right here where he's one. He's wanting to invest this for twenty years and then make regular withdrawals. His interest rate is five percent APR, and what he needs to find here is what's this regular series of withdrawals that he can make. Uh, exhausting that account over the course of the next 20 years. Let's draw a cash flow diagram for Brian. Uh, remember, we have quite a long period, so we're going to break it up there. It's a little messy. Okay, uh, we, have, we start at time zero with some investment P, which is going to be equal to $400,000, uh, and then in year one, he's going to withdraw year two all the way to year 19 and year 20 is going to withdraw. So the series of withdrawals A, which we don't know, is what's going to exhaust his account. And these occur every year at the end of the interest period, okay, all the way to year 20. Point of view is Brian, and he is the investor. Okay? Or actually, in this case, the withdraw draw. All right. So let's solve this. First, let's use the formula, uh, which is a little cumbersome, and then we'll use the uh, factor, which is way easier. All right. So we have A that we need to find. We're given P. Uh, we will multiply by I times 1 plus I to the N over 1 plus i to the n minus 1. Okay, you can see how this factor is a little bit cumbersome here and not real fun to deal with. So let's add our values in and solve. We have $400,000. We're going to multiply by our interest rate, which is 0 0.05. Uh, 1 plus 0 0.05 to the n, which is 20 years, divided by 1 plus 0 0.05 to the 20 years minus 1. And if we solve for A, A is going to be equal to 32,097 and 0 cents. Okay? Does that make sense? $32,000 withdrawals every year for 20 years. He's earning some interest. That looks like it's in the ballpark to me. Let's uh, quickly use the factor and make sure our answer is correct. Using the factor, we have A, P, E. A is equal to P multiplied by the A slash P to the I and the N. And rather than just write I, let's write out what I is. That's 5%, and the N is 20. Okay. Remember, in order to find out what factor we need to do, and we've done this multiple times now, all we have to do is say, what do we need to know? A. What are we given? P, I, and N. And that way we know we're using the right factor here. All right? So we're going to multiply the $400,000 by this factor A slash P at 5% to the 20. So let's go to the 5% table. Down to the 5% table. We are looking for A slash P. Remember, that brings us to this column. And we're talking about a total investment period of 20 years. So we're going to have to scroll down here. And A slash P for 20 years is 0 0.0802. Uh, and so that's going to be 0 0.0802. And what do we get when we solve for this? 32,000. 
uh, $80. And that's pretty close to what we found up here. Uh, you'll note that the difference here, again, is just due to the rounding that occurs in the interest tables.